So, in the office, <laughs> we've been talking a lot about lately, um, you know, what other games we should cover on occasion, right? Like today, you just put up the first, is it, was it our first FIFA video? It might have been our first FIFA yeah, video. very potentially so, right? And because we, honestly, <clears throat> we put out so many videos every day, we don't have too much time to branch out into other games that we aren't super familiar with. Just because yeah. there's so much going on so in tough. esports. Yeah, and we're a small team. And, um, but anyway, by that same penchant, a lot of people have been saying we should get into PUBG Mobile. I know. Oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> Dude, so many comments just about mobile in general. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. We're, sorry. And honestly, after I looked a little into it, and I kind, I'm kind of on board in a weird way. I knew you were going to yeah. say that. Yeah, because if you just look at the pure numbers. Huge. If you look at the pure numbers, it doesn't make any sense, right? Just for comparison's sake, PUBG Mobile has over 400 million users. Just in total, just registered, like, using it in, in general, right? crap. It's a lot of people. Yeah. Is 400 million even a number that's conceivable on the side of your head? Like, imagine seeing 400 million people. It's, like, I, I couldn't even fathom. Yeah. Although I will say there yeah. are a few, quite a few games around those numbers, but they're not mobile. Like, not you, just you just don't picture it when you see, when not, you say phone, I don't no. picture 400 million people. Yeah, see, the, the thing is, you would think, I, I, because I definitely thought a lot of games are near that 400 mil Apparently they aren't. Fortnite is only at uh, a little over 250 million. Really? Fortnite. I guess it. But you got to think about how world. new it is. All right, so it is pretty new still. PUBG Mobile is new too. That is also and a then, fair point. That, those numbers Frick. don't include standard PUBG at all, and those numbers include all of Fortnite. It really makes you wonder where these mobile. numbers are coming from, man. I mean, a lot of it is China and India. Uh, especially so dude's got six phones yeah <laughs> you know playing I all different angles surprised. yeah he's playing a whole PUBG <laughs> squad <laughs> yeah. like. he doesn't have a four monitor setup he's got yeah. a quad phone setup. yeah just yeah yeah just like it, honestly just like one controller with three phones yeah, mounted on top it. that's just, that's yeah. probably a thing in stores probably like, honestly, you're somewhere. just botting six accounts at once yeah I mean it's honestly it's it's wild if you just look at the uh a couple more of the numbers in May of this year PUBG Mobile made $146 million Whew. versus Fortnite made $203 million it's a pretty across all platforms. Once again, Man. across all platforms and PUBG just chilling in mobile like, oh, hey, what's good? <laughs> like, you know, and it, Call, Call of Duty Mobile looks like it might be going the same direction. Yeah, it could be actually pretty positive from yeah. reviews so far mm -hmm. besides They're, the AI. but Yeah, the AI and the microtransactions are mildly concerning mm -hmm. considering – it's been two days since COD Mobile came out, and there's already been $2 million spent on microtransactions wow. alone. Mother Over 20 God. million downloads of the game. Why can't people spend that kind of money on us? Yeah, right, right? Because we're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> and to add that really quickly as yeah. well, Crossfire mm -hmm. is also on mobile. Yeah, uh, definitely. Very successful. Mm -hmm. So... They, they just got their league. Yep, yeah, they, their franchise they got league. their franchise and league you know, for mobile. Thing is, a mobile franchise <laughs> league, bro. <laughs> you say every time we mention one of these games, all the numbers are wild. Then you got to remember, Tencent owns all of this. Oh, they do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course they do. God, I love talking about Tencent. Tencent is crazy. Everything we just talked about is tied to Tencent. They, and they're just <laughs> raking it. They're just chilling in the corner like, yeah, it's all right. We'll have this competition Dude, between all the games that we, we own. And we haven't even talked about League of Legends Mobile, which, yeah, which they had a hand in. Yeah, yeah. They literally go, oh, let's take that main game, mm -hmm. put it on a phone, and we'll yeah. just make bank that way. Yeah, yeah. God. I mean, they oh, they straight up own, right? I didn't know they actually own. Oh, own. I don't know too much yeah, about them because yeah, they yeah. scare me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And I mean, taking you got to take into account, obviously, a couple caveats with the mobile industry. Uh, a huge thing that's kind of boosted it is the fact that video game consoles were illegal in China up until 2015. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did so, not know that. So Yeah, yeah. So that definitely boosted mobile numbers over there, and that is one of the largest markets for it. Mm -hmm. But even if we just think in terms of who plays video games, you got a breakdown of, at least for America, so 67% of Americans play video games at all, period, right? 67% of Americans? Yep. Woo. Yeah, it's a pretty good number. Yeah, that's pretty high. We're on the come up, um, but you know, ninety percent of those people play games on a smartphone. Ninety percent, fifty-two percent play on PC, forty-three percent play on console, and nine percent play on handheld. Help, and of course, there's a little crossover because some people play on multiple things. Oh my gosh! But ninety percent. We're in the wrong market. Yeah, right. And you know what? The, it's only gonna get larger with stuff like Stadia that allows you to play actual AAA games on a phone. And you think about it, like phones yeah. are generally, as I would say worldwide compared mm -hmm. to PCs and consoles, more accessible. Oh, definitely. Everywhere. Yeah, every like Basement. 
living room, mm-hmm. laundry room, mm-hmm. in the car. You can just carry it with you. Like even like a, 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 I'd say a Nintendo Switch is pretty portable, but it's not like oh let me just slip it into my pocket you and can go. Play on your phone underwater. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There is so many. Yeah. <laughs> We need to do that for a video. Yeah, PUBG Mo- All right, copyright. D- don't TM, TM, yeah, TM, TM, TM. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> trademark, trademark, trademark. <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I almost did not want to talk to you about this because uh-huh. then I realized, wow, what have I been doing? Like pursuing PC and console games. Mm-hmm. Imagine viewership on mobile. The, the giant other question is, though, when it comes time for mobile viewership, the esports side of it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Which they have their mm-hmm. fair share of esports, mm-hmm. even a franchise league already being set up for mobile games. Right. Yeah. This very well could be the future. I think at least a, a large portion. I think of it's it. definitely going to be. Yeah. Because especially if, if more companies take up the Google approach of uh, offloading the stress from your phone, because apparently, because I didn't know this, um, and I think this definitely factors into why Fortnite isn't doing nearly as well as PUBG Mobile is that PUBG Mobile is really low, inten- it, d- it doesn't have a high requirement for phones. It's super easy for like most entry level phones, they can still play PUBG Mobile. But that apparently, and the game aspect, yeah, obviously. The game, well, yeah, obviously. Building on a phone would but, be kind I mean, of difficult. But apparently I, Fortnite is really Stressful intensive. on yeah, your phone. Yeah, it'll, it'll really, you, got, you have to kind of have a gaming. If, if we have top level streamers phone. on top PCs uh-huh. lagging in Fortnite, I uh-huh. can't imagine what a, mo- a mobile user is yeah, going to go right. through if they're trying right. to crank. If and I try to open that up on my like oh, no. old Galaxy, my phone would probably explode. Your battery's literally ticking, <laughs> ticking down in battery Yeah, yeah, every too. second. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this game better end fast. All right, all right. I got 100 seconds to kill <laughs> everyone. Every... <laughs> I got 100 <laughs> seconds to win this game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh-huh. definitely going to be interesting. We've had rising number of comments say, cover this mobile, cover right, this mobile. Right. We're trying to. It's just a matter of angle of how to cover it. Yeah, exactly. I, I would love to know how much interest there actually is in terms of seeing like mobile stuff like this mm-hmm. covered. Because I know, I think a large part of the draw of mobile is playing it yourself m- a little bit more so than I feel console and PC is yeah. to a certain extent. You're definitely not going to be teaming up as much yeah. on phone, if that's mm-hmm. what you mean. Mm-hmm. A def- yeah, I can see that, you know, players who want to play on their own or accessibility as well and yeah. stress. There's mm-hmm. a lot of reasons that we already talked about. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to see where it progresses to in the future. And I cannot wait because we look at a PC game and Fortnite was that PC game that yeah. really took gaming off for mm-hmm. PC and, and, and console. What's going to be that game? Because we already have PUBG Mobile. We already have Mobile Legends. Right. We already have Crossfire Mobile. What's going to be that game? I mean, honestly, for mobile. If it's not PUBG, like, what's the next step? I think I think it already is PUBG. Almost. I mean, it'll be PUBG two. Is what it will. It'll, yeah, it'll be. But like, you have a lot of people like you and me who just don't yeah. believe it. So yeah. imagine like that's that level of game because the, the uh-huh. basis is already there. The basis I would say for yeah, mobile games definitely. is already that much higher. Mm-hmm. Fortnite was boom, it, new basis. So what's going to yeah. be that for mobile? That's going to be that could be like the the new point. Honestly, I don't think it'll be an esports thing. I think it'll probably be some like game like, a like Clash Royale kind of thing. Like no, not even, not even like anything like f- previous <laughs> phone games that you would generally associate with playing on the phone. Like uh, there's there's this game that came out uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, if any of the viewers have heard of it, it's called Sayonara Wild Hearts. It's essentially yeah, no, I'm yeah. Not. <laughs> <laughs> it's essentially like uh, playing through an, a vi- uh, like playing through an al- a music album with a bunch of really cool graphics and it just looks beautiful and it's really amazing game that I would never have thought that I would be playing on a mobile like, mm-hmm. platform. Like, my phone is old. Played it great. Yeah. This is a game that's out on, it came out on PS4 the same day it did on phones. Mm-hmm. And it looks the same, more or less. So it's wild. You don't think the future of mobile will be necessarily an eSport, maybe yeah. a non-traditional game. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, count, I'll mm-hmm. kind of agree and counter. I'll go MMO. A phone MMO. Maybe, maybe. MMO players you love know, to be able to play from. I feel like we're taking too long on this, yeah, but they yeah. love to be able to play from anywhere, once, anytime. Once, once we got a uh, like you know Stadia stuff set up, definitely I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Once, it, once it's not putting so much of the burden on phones and it's more on servers. Man, especially with 5G on the, the way, the future gonna be mad. 5G dude. is gonna be crazy. The future's going to be crazy, and it mm. might just be mobile. <laughs>